in today's message, I'm gonna tell you why you can't save some of these women. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the most high, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to a another righteous spirit filled episode today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man I want to start you off by asking what's the difference between a saved sinner and an unsaved sinner you know the unsaved sinner don't think they have a problem and they happy with living their life the way they live in it and then the saved sinner has been accountable and realized that they got some wicked problems that they need to be saved from, you know, have salvation from, need to be delivered from, and they've taken accountability, you know, to rectify these problems via the word of Abba Yah. Think about that. You know, the woman who was arrested in Dubai was released, had to pay $1,300 to come back home and is still playing the victim. You know, the mama, when talking to the news reporter, made her daughter seem like a victim. The man the mama had up in the interview was like, man, I don't see why Dubai got different rules for women than they do for men. Well, let's look at the will of Abba Yah. Is there some things that's pertaining to, to men that don't pertain to women? Yes, but once again, you know, I told you, this woman was talking about she's never going back to Dubai. And I'm pretty sure Dubai doesn't want her back there. Not with that kind of mouth, not with that kind of attitude. And here's the icing on the cake. You know, people that know this woman and probably have disassociated themselves with her came up on the net, on the media, with videos of this lady, you know, pretty much showing that that was her normal behavior. Videos of her cursing people out in Airbnbs, you know, her throwing drinks on people. So that Me Too stuff ain't gonna work, you know? Me Too stuff ain't gonna work. But when I tell you, you can't help some of these women, it's the same thing for men. Don't take what I'm saying out of context. You know, if a person don't realize that they got a problem, they ain't hearing nothing you're saying. The wisdom, the advice, the emergency relief you're trying to give them, they think they don't need, you know? And men, a lot of you are sitting out here entertaining these women, trying to save them, instead of moving on, moving on to somebody else that wants leadership, that wants help, that will receive what Scripture says fools despise wisdom. A fool think they, they, they got the best thing since sliced bread. And, and, and a fool, you know, can only be taught so much. They have to learn through heartache, headache, and pain, suffering, tribulation they have to learn the hard way before they come around but some of these folks you know they don't have the desire to be better you know they're comfortable with living a life because it's so accepted where we live in western culture she's not the only one like that let's let's make it real you know it's every time you go out you know as an adult 
You've probably had times in your life where you've seen a woman just go off in public instead of handling the manners. Well, let me, let me speak to your supervisor. Supervisor in here, okay, well, I'll call corporate. And keep, you know, it, there's a way to handle stuff. But, you know, this woman was facing two years confinement, up to $10,000 fine. They let her go and said, you know what? We tired of this. Give her $1,300 and you got one day to get up out of here. If not, we put another travel ban on you. So she, she, she got the heck up out of Dodge. And when she come back, I guarantee you, she ain't going to be trying to uh, uh, realize how for that never to happen again. Man, I didn't travel, you know, in over six, seven countries for work and leisure and have had things not go my way. And as a man, still didn't conduct myself like that. You know, counting the costs. Man, I'm over here, you know, leisure, or I'm over here representing United, and I gotta be careful what I do because it impacts other people. You know, if I go out here, I ain't got no backup. And she ain't had no backup. You know, in America, there would have been a whole sisterhood of supporters trying to justify her jumping in there with her man you can't you can't help some of these women some of these folk because they don't realize they they have a problem and you just wasting your time here's another one man these women that work in male dominant career fields they end up masculine they hang around men that's doing this heavy duty work and they start stepping to men like that Pay attention to it. Close to the God Ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight.